Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. I want to show you the Sky RC S65. It's big brother, this is the S60. And show you what's the difference between the S60 and the S65. Box wise, pretty much the same. You'll see a difference is the S60 is grayish and the S65 is black. Let's open the box. Let's see what's inside. One of the first thing you'll see is the manual and I do strongly suggest to read the manual. Even if you're looking at this video right here, read the manual. Let's open the bag here and see what comes in it. Bag's empty and we'll only see a power plug. And let's open the physical charger. You open the charger, you get greeted for a small compact charger. Now size wise is the same as this big brother, the S60. Again, difference, it's black, the S60 is gray. And if we took, turn around, pretty much the same. The only difference is right here. This charger comes with a S60 plug instead of being banana plugs. Basically, if you have this charger here, and you have charge leads, you can't plug the charge leads inside. You just can't. You need to make an adapter from S60 to banana plugs and be able to plug these in. Now they do exist, these adapters. I just don't have one with me right now. But again, you can make yourself uh, grab an S60, solder a bit of wire and solder bullets at the end and plug these in. The S65, it's a 65 watts, meaning the S65. The S60 is 60 watts. Now they're both uh, able to do six amp current, both of them. I'm guessing five watts more can do a little bit more. Again, yeah, let's plug it in and let's see what it does. When you plug them into, it takes a couple of seconds longer than normal to turn on. Now it turns on, let's zoom in, be able to see a little bit better here. My camera doesn't want to really, here we go. And this, you have pretty much the same menu as the S65, the 60 should I say. You press stop and you can scroll between your menus. You have a battery meter. When you plug in your battery, it physically tells you a meter what's happening with it. Let's plug our, uh, our three cell in. Battery meter, basically it's telling me cell one is 3.75, cell two, 3.59, cell three, 3.67. Main 11.4, high and low, what tells you of your cells. You have battery resistance. That helps to see which battery is a little bit better when you press on it, battery check. Resistance of the battery, 4.4, 3.5 ohms, 4.9 at zero ohms. Total of 12.8 ohms. Now you could have other batteries and the number will be different. Be able to tell you which is better. Then you have your system settings. Uh, safety timer, 120 minutes. Capacity cutoff. Capacity cutoff, that's where usually I say to change it. If all your batteries are gonna charge it, they're underneath 5,000, leave it alone, you'll be more than fine. But let's say you're charging uh, at 5,300. What you want to do, press twice on it until the 5,000 flashes. You're gonna bring this up to 6,000. 
The reason you want to bring this up to 6,000 and not 5,000 is once the charger hits 5,000 in milliamps, it's going to cut. It won't charge your battery if it's a 5,300. Now going to 6,000, you're going to say, why do I put to 53? You could. Your battery will always go higher than this capaci capacity. A 5,200 could go up to 5,500 depending on the battery. That way going a little bit higher, you're just trying to get the maximum capacity out of your battery. Temperature cut off. You can leave that the way it is. Now temperature, you have it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. We're in Canada. We pretty much use, uh, I use Celsius personally. Uh, rest time, charge discharge. That's when you're doing a cycle charge. Uh, and then sensitivity peak, you leave that alone. NICAT, same thing. Now, if you don't like the buzzer or the key beep, you got 30 days off right here. And load factory system. When you press on it, it resets the complete charger back to zero. You have your LiPo, your lives. It's a Myon, lithium high voltage, your NIMS, NICADs, your PB. PB is like batteries for tractors, cars, things like that, that kind of a nature. And you're back to your battery meter. LiPo, we've, let's check, that's what we have plugged in right here. Uh, two amps, now it says a 4S. I'm gonna press twice, bring this down to a 2S. You can bring it down to a 2S, 3S, 4S. That's the maximum discharge we'll do as a 4S. Now we have a 3S, press enter. We can go balance charge if we wanted to. LiPo charge, fast charge, storage, discharge, or back to balance. It's not a complicated charger. Works well, and you don't need an extension to your balancing lead. Basically, when you plug it in, you'll notice here you have a plus, a negative, should I say, then one, two, three, four, and so on. Always start with your balancing lead this way. See if it's gonna zoom in. There we go. Sorry if the sh camera's shaking. You always want to start this way. Always your first black wire, you're gonna to want to start at your negative. Plug it in. You'll see there's one empty because this is a 3S. A four will completely fill it. A two, you'll have one black less and you'll have only three wires. And then you plug in your big port and you hit start. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you. Hit that bell if you like this video. And if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, hit that, that the other bell, should I say, the thumbs up for if you like this video. <laughs> Enjoy.